With mobile gaming becoming bigger and bigger every single year, there are manufacturers that are making dedicated gaming phones with dedicated features that no other phone has until now. Mobile gaming is fun for many, but what isn't fun is destroying your phone's battery while you're gaming. Gaming by itself already makes your phone heat up from the amount of power that it's using. Now, if you're charging and you're playing a game, that's even worse because charging by itself also creates heat. So now you're playing games, which creates heat, and you're charging, which, which creates heat. If you add those two together, you get even more heat. Once that happens, we all know what happens. The screen starts to dim from the amount of uh, heat that the phone has. It starts to throttle down the brightness of the display. Not only that, but it also throttles the processor making your game laggy. Normally, whenever you plug your phone in, the charger is charging the battery of the phone, which obviously creates a little bit of heat. That's normal. But then your phone is also taking the charge away from the battery to operate itself, which obviously creates even more heat. With the Galaxy S23 series of phones, there's a new feature called Battery Bypass and you enable it in the Game Booster settings. So what that does is that whenever you're playing a game and then let's say you plug your phone in right to a charger. Well, with that Battery Bypass enabled, the charger is not actually charging the battery of the phone. All it's doing is just powering the phone, which obviously creates a lot less heat, which is good because your phone's not going to thermal throttle, it's the, the screen's not going to dim, and as the years go by, your battery is actually going to be in better condition because it's not going to be subject to heat every single day or whenever you're gaming. This is excellent for you that actually want to keep your phone for many years and you want your battery to stay as healthy as possible. This is a, like, like I said, this is a really genius feature. In my previous video, I defended Samsung. A lot of people were saying that the S23 series of phones were a lazy release. But as I've said in my previous videos, I don't think it's a lazy release at all. I think it's a really smart, optimized, and power efficient release. Samsung is really working out the kinks to make the Galaxy S phone the best phone that they could possibly make. And the S23 series of phones is really close to it, if not already there. No more gimmicky features. You just get raw horsepower, optimization, efficiency. Great. Samsung used to be the company that barely released updates, but now, as we see, they're actually releasing updates faster than Google themselves, at least with the monthly updates. But not just that. Your uh, Samsung phone is actually going to be uh, supported for a year longer with operating system updates than, again, Google's very own Pixel phone. That's, that's honestly really impressive from Samsung. So if you're thinking about picking up any Galaxy S23 series of phones, whether it be the S23, the Plus, or the Ultra, I think you're going to have an amazing experience with not only fluidity, but again, with that very long support. And also, if you want to pre-order, I'll have exclusive links down in the uh, description and the pinned comment, which can get you guys $150 of Samsung credit to use with accessories, cases, stuff like that. And then you also get a free storage upgrade from 256 to 512 or from 128 to uh, 256, depending on the phone model you're getting. So um, I would jump on that as soon as possible if I were you because those deals only last until the 16th or 17th of this month, February. So uh, if you want to pick up a phone, you want to save some cash and get some credit on top of that, if I were you, I'd do it. So are you guys excited for the S23 series of phones? Did you already pre-order? Did you already get the phone in? If you're lucky, I know a lot of people already got the uh, Ultra and the Plus and the normal version in even before the release date, which, hey, yo, that's not fair because I don't have mine yet. Ugh. So let me know your favorite feature about the S23 that made you guys upgrade or might make you guys upgrade. Nah, yep. Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, this was Mark from MarkStack. Adios.